One, two, three. <laughs> Hey friend, in this video I want to share with you how I play the iconic, the legendary guitar part to Johnny B. Good. Now this is going to be great to help you improve your picking and help you improve your rhythm. And if you want to jam with other musicians as well, it's a wonderful song to know. So let's get straight into it here. It starts off with this lick that is immediately recognizable. It sounds like this. And this is in the key of B flat here. We're I'm playing around with this chord shape at the sixth fret. And we're gonna slide in to the seventh fret on the third string, which is just part of this chord here. And then we'll play the sixth fret on the second string, and then the eighth fret. And then we do this classic Chuck Berry move. These are called double stops here. We're going to play two notes at a time. We'll grab the sixth fret on the second string and also on the first string. We're going to slide into them like this. Now, I originally thought that these were triplets when I played this years ago, like one and a two and a, but they're actually eighth notes. So the rhythm comes in on what's called a pickup. We can count one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Now I'm sliding in on one, the and of two, and then beat four like this. One and two and three and four and. So one, two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. And then we go. And here we just sort of work our way around, again, that B flat major chord there. And for those of you that are in my caged guitar system on my website, you'll recognize that shape there as like an E shape chord. We're just sort of dancing around that. So we're gonna play the double stop and then we'll go nine, eight, six on the second string, then six, seven on the third string, then eight on the fourth string. And then I play an eight on the fifth string. And that note is a little bit buried on the recording. So some people just stop there, you know. But I like to kind of keep the eighth notes in there and, and go one and two and three and four and. So that's the first part of this lick. And I'm gonna break down this entire song for you, this lead note for note and the rhythm. But before we go any further, I wanna hook you up with something that's really gonna help you out for learning this song and for helping you jam with others and for helping you learn the neck. What it is is a PDF guide where I show you the five ways that I play the blues scale on the guitar neck. And I wanna give it to you completely for free. Just go to johnmcclennan.com slash blues scales and you can get that as my gift to you. All right, so descending out of this lick, then we grab these two notes. Here's more double stops. And it's, it's part of that chord there, eight and eight. We go. And then he sort of builds into the chord there, which looks like an E shape here. So one and two and three and four and. You sort of get that seven there on the last strum there. So one and two and three and four and. Then from there we do a slide back into seven on the third string and go. So that's sliding in then double stop six, then eight and six, then six and six. See that there? You gotta keep that ring finger on, on its tip there. Then slide down seven to five, then play three. Then five on the fourth string. 
So, so far it sounds like this. One and two and three and four and 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 one and two and three and four. Then we go into the classic duck walk lick, which goes like this. And this is a combination of a number of things here. We've got a repetitive figure, which means sort of this idea that's just over and over and over. And then we've got some double stops. And then we've also got these staccato bends, which is this move here on the eighth fret of the third string. You bend it up and then you rest, okay? So it's staccato means it's short and disconnected and you do the bend and then you get off. So now you don't want to hear the note go back down. You don't want to hear like, right? That's the common thing that guitar players struggle with. You want to bend it up and then rest. You rest with your strum hand and also your fretting hand to sort of have it go up and then disappear. And then a lot of times you'll roll it into that sixth fret on the second string. So. Now the third time there, he does a double stop. So like one, two, three, get the double stop. So, right? And then, and then you repeat it again. This time we'll go. And we'll do the double stop on the last time. So you could play them all double stops like, right? Or you could play them not double stops like, Sounds good either way. Uh, I think it's something that he probably just improvised, right? He didn't have like a set pattern. It was just like whatever came out. So. Now from there, he would do these little rakes with his strum hand like. Where you're just sort of dragging your pick through the string. So you do the bend and then you do the double stop but you, you rake through all with down strokes with the strum hand. So, and then nine, eight, six on the second string, then eight, six on the first string. So, right, that's a great. All these notes. He's not really using one scale there. He's actually blending a lot of cool notes together right? Using notes from the major pentatonic scale, from the blues scale, from the minor pentatonic, from uh, the B flat chord itself, right? So here we're walking down eight, six, then second string, nine, eight, six, third string, eight, six, hammer to seven, then do a rake, that same move again. Right, you're sort of making it staccato. And here you can do a little pull off on the last. So that's nine pull off to eight, six, and then end with. And that is the duck walk lick again. And then just play eight on the last one and then double stops. Six and six there on the third and second strings. Hammer to seven on the third string. Then eight on the fourth string. So. So if I back up out of that duck walk lick, it's gonna go. And all together from the top, it's gonna go one, and two, and three. Alright, the next part I want to talk about is the rhythm and this comes in part way, it comes in actually on the four chord at the top of the song, but then of course when the vocal comes in, it, the lead just goes, goes to this sort of blues rhythm pattern. So let's check that out next. We're in the key of B flat here. 
and this is the sixth fret of the low E and then the eighth fret on the fifth string. And we're gonna go one and we'll play two down strums there and then reach up with the pinky, play the 10th fret on the fifth string and then come right back to eight there on the fifth string. So it's gonna go one and two and. and then we do it again, three and four and. So that little part there is our rhythm figure. Now in the strum hand, I'm using all down. So I'm going. And that gives a driving energy to this, just like real, real, uh, you know, intense. Now, sometimes Chuck Berry would slide into it like. Right? That has a great sound just starting there on the fifth fret and then sliding up to the sixth fret. Four bars of this. And then we shift down to E flat here on six on the fifth string and eight on the fourth string. Now here we're gonna go. Same thing, but we've shifted down one string. So one and two and three and four and one and two and, and back to B flat. Now these are coming off of, I think of these as based off, you know, the bar chords here. I'm just taking two notes of that classic bar chord and creating this blues rhythm pattern off of it. Now the last chord you need to know is the one based off the F. And so what you do is you take that E flat and you shift it up two frets. You get the eighth fret on the fifth string and the 10th fret on the fourth string. And here I'm reaching up with my pinky to 12 on the fourth string. So. And then back to B flat for two bars. Now I wanna point something out. A lot of times in the blues, we'll have that, this is called the five chord here and then go down to the four chord, but when Chuck Berry is singing the melody, it actually just goes five, stay there, one, right? So it's, it's a very uh, just basic sort of one, four, five progression. We've got the B flat for the one chord, the E flat for the four chord, and the F for the five chord. So let me put that all together. I'll play this rhythm part one time for you, one time through the 12 bar blues. Here we go. One, two, oh, one, two, three, four. That was amazing about this is typically you know in in the blues you'll have a rhythm like that and you'll swing it right and what Chuck Berry did was he made the rhythm nice and straight so one and two and three and four and but if you listen to the recording what's amazing is the band you know the bass and the drums still actually swung underneath that so it created like this really cool push and pull between what Chuck Berry played and the rhythm section. So listen for that and don't forget to grab my free PDF that's gonna show you the five ways that I play the blues scale anywhere on the neck. This is gonna help you jam with other musicians easier. It's gonna help you learn to solo. It's gonna help you learn the neck and also learn songs and riffs like this faster because you'll be able to see the scales and the patterns and how it all connects. So grab that completely for free. Just go to johnmcclennan.com slash blue scales as my gift to you. And as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And for more Chuck Berry, check out this video next.